after leaving our first epic camp in El Salvador, we're en route to the next camp. But first, we're in search of a new battery. Our current battery is no longer holding a charge, so we stopped to get a new one, and then Chris is busy getting to work installing it in the parking lot. When it rains, it pours. So yes, this happened. We have a flat tire. We had a low tire sensor yesterday afternoon. We stopped and checked it a bunch of times. It was no issue. Got to our campsite, still no issue. Woke up this morning, flat tire. Luckily, we have a full-size spare, a tire repair kit, and a portable compressor so we can fix it. Honestly, this is better than on the side of the road because the side of the road is nearly non-existent here. So this is much safer. We put the spare on while working on the OG just to keep the SUV a little bit more stable since the tent's on top. This is also a great opportunity to check on the status of our spare tire. Chris got to work removing the flat tire to find the hole and see if we can patch it or if we need to install the spare. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I do know how to change a flat tire and have done so by myself several times. My dad taught me well when I learned to drive so that I'd never be stranded. It's the best way to repair a flat tire when you're camping. Bring your husband who's a mechanic. <laughs> Chris was a military vehicle technician and then an aviation technician so I'm just gonna stay in my lane and let him take care of this. Besides, somebody needs to hold the camera. Find the hole. The tire's flat, it's gonna go and fight you. go until you have that deep okay. and hopefully it comes off clean. When overlanding, especially in Central America, having a full-size spare, the fix-it kit and a compressor are must-haves. Plus you need to know how to use them and change tire. We do also have a handy can of spray foam which is a quick fix. You can use this to fix the tire temporarily if you're not in a safe place to do the proper repairs. So I'm positioning, so I'm positioning the plug so I can get at it if I need to go and fix it. Make sure you get all the all the nuts. So keep keep track of what you're torquing. When you hear that click and that pop, typically the sign saying it's it's torqued. And then uh, once we're driving down the road again, I'm gonna go and check again to make sure that they're all like tight tight nothing loosened off and I'll probably do that till I can get it actually torqued like confirmed torqued on so you're just checking and looking for bubbles right yeah or hopefully no bubbles we're happy to say that the plug held from El Salvador to Canada four months five countries and over 6,000 kilometers with the tire fixed we're back on the road Join us next week as we explore more of El Salvador.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next amazing adventure. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.